Hey guys, welcome to Vitavagarts. I'm Josh, and welcome to the third devlog of Entrenched. Now, if you missed the first two, um, well, you can go check them out in the links in the description below. We've got a whole uh, little library of videos starting to build up. But you're not going to be missing much. Uh, I mean, this is this is probably the one where we're actually going to start getting into showing off what kind of content we have. Now, in the first video, we talked about how the game was an RTS. It's not an RTS anymore. Uh, that was in the second one we discussed, and we kind of explained how we're doing a first-person shooter. And one of the biggest points was the fact that uh, <laughs> we're trying to sort of imitate Halo, the game Halo, the way that plays. So that's one of the biggest things that we've uh, we've been looking into, and hopefully we can master that. We've, we're still a ways out. We're just working on the character controller, so when when you run around, it it feels nice and smooth. Um, in, in this, uh, in this build, things aren't working too, too great. We've got a list of things to fix, and hopefully in the next one we can, we can, uh, show you what we've fixed. But, for this one, let's have a look at some levels, because I think levels are, are kind of an important part of, of the arena shooter genre. And, um, yeah, that's something that we're, well, as me as the artist in this, is super excited to get started uh, get started working on. Now, one of the things that I haven't done before is grey boxing, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's probably something that needs to be done. Uh, let's have a look at some of these levels, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll talk you, I'll talk you through them one at a time. Let's, let's have a look. So, first things first, we are using Unity, and as you can see with our main menu, we, uh, sort of have a different aesthetic going here. Now, when we said we're going to be focusing on Halo as our sort of game feel, one of the things I kind of want to have is a nostalgic feeling for the Halo 2 era of games and levels. So they were set in, when they were on Earth, in Africa. So they were like this sort of like tropical environment with ruins and all that kind of stuff. So there's going to be, our first set of levels are going to be heavily inspired by that. And then we'll work on multiple different environments. Now. You can see here our menu is working nice and smoothly. We have a testing. The, the testing is pretty much just a single player um, option for us. So if we want to just jump in, we can test them and it'll load really quickly. Whereas the multiplayer option actually needs to connect. And once it's connected, we can go create server and then we can choose our level. But uh, it's literally just that small little... That small little tweak, so in testing we can just quickly test things. Now I'm going to go through every single level here and sort of explain what I uh, intend to have with these levels. Some of them are a little bit more complete than others, as you can just see going scrolling through here. And some of them are 100% not really intended for uh, end consumer playability, you know. So let's just go through one at a time. Now there's one key factor that's uh, it's going to be a bit of a pain, and I'll explain it once uh, we get in here. So create room, and we can start game. We've got ourselves a nice little loading menu. What we intend to have in that loading menu, loading scene, is is the pictures of the level, like the screenshots and different angles. So hopefully that'll, uh, that, that should, you know, well, it'll be in a later build. So here we are, we're in... Detritus. This is one of our first maps that we made, and as you can see, the controller is a little bit different. You can see my guy's hands sort of just sitting there, uh, and if I look down, you can kind of see through my arms. <laughs> now, <laughs> this is a work in progress, I must say, so don't be too judgmental on this. Hopefully the next build, we have all of this kind of stuff fixed. Um, yeah, there's, we, we pretty much intend to have a first-person version where you've just got the arms and guns and a third person where you've actually um you know it's you can see the entire torso and everything so if you're not sure about what that means uh, in the next devlog i'll sort of go into detail as to what that entails because uh, that's what we're going to be working on next so i'm just going to walk around this level now as you can see it's very much just a bunch of art assets slapped everywhere now this was actually one of our first levels that we worked on just to sort of get a gist of how um, how these how it looks in Unity. We were originally going to do this in Unreal, and we we slapped everything in there, and we're like, this looks really good, but um, we we're much more comfortable with Unity and and how to do things in here. So 
here we are in Unity, and it still looks pretty damn good, if I'm honest. I think the textures could probably use a little bit more of, a, of a, an update. I think they can... They're a little bit low quality when you get too close to them. They were intended to be for an RTS, so, you know, you were supposed to be 100 miles away. But now that we can get really close, it's it gets a little bit gross to look at. Now, there's a couple things in here that um, you won't really be able to tell unless you're playing. If I attempt to jump and move forward, it's impossible. If I jump and try to change course, uh, I can't do that. So these are little tweaks that we've sort of realized that we need to change. And this is actually thanks to playtesting already. So we, we could tell there was something wrong, but it's once you start getting multiple people telling you the same thing, you're like, okay, this is actually an issue. Now, playtesting has only been through a couple friends, so um, very, very small audience at the moment. But we do intend to open up playtesting uh, sometime in the future, hopefully by the end of the year. We can have some playtesting, or even a couple months, hopefully, if we're lucky. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, jumping around is actually quite a difficult thing to do, because... Um, there's just a lot of issues with how our controller is currently. Like, I can't even jump over this properly. Um, so, yeah. And if I do, look at that, we're stuck. So, this <laughs> this build is currently full of a bunch of issues. But I, I want to show these off. I want to show you these errors that I, I literally can't... I'm stuck here forever. These errors that we fully intend to, to fix. See, there we go. I fixed it. That we intend to fix in later builds. And I think it's kind of important to show where we come from. Um, and hopefully we can actually fix them. So, one huge glaring error with this uh, build right now. I can't escape the level. <laughs> I can't. I have to, if I press escape, nothing happens. I have to actually alt F4. So, let's just have a quick run around this scene. And you can sort of see that it's a very barren environment. Where I was mostly just testing out some art assets and seeing what the scene would look like. And I was sort of testing... Also, uh, just, you know, large environments and, and just testing a whole bunch of stuff with this level. Now, again, yeah, it's, it's very, very bare bones. But the concept is there for the, what we want, a very, like, arid, desert -y kind of feel level. Now, this is one of the more complete levels, believe it or not. So, uh, let's go check out the, uh, the grey box levels that we've been working on. And to do that, I have to Alt F4, so say goodbye. There we go. And went back in. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do this every single time. We... Well, don't worry. It's gonna be fixed. It's gonna, it's gonna be fixed. <laughs> you won't even ever experience this. So let's go back in. I'm just gonna go through testing, and we'll do grey box A range. Now, this scene has a lot more than the rest of them, because we've actually... This is our testing scene, so this is... Testing for mobility, um, for weapons, for literally everything at the moment. So this has a couple things that you're going to see that aren't in the other scene. So let's just check it out. So first things first, here we are again. Whoa, what's this? We got some... Well, these are spawn points, I should say. These are current spawn points, and they do actually spawn you in direction. So if you spawn a certain way, they'll uh, they'll go a certain way. Actually, no, they won't. They, they have they have been updated. I know that. This build doesn't have that, but I know it, it does actually direct you. Anyway, we've got guns here. And if I press F, we can pick one up. And all of a sudden, the game looks a little bit more like a video game instead of just weird hands. And you can see sort of there's some errors. You can see my arm going through my, my skin there, but aiming does work. You can see my shirt disappearing at times and some things just disappearing. So positioning of the camera's a little off. Uh... <laughs> There's a bunch of little bugs here and there. Um, but this is using an IK system, so wherever we look, the gun will actually accurately target. So if I get close to this wall, you can see that it tries to adjust to uh, where my camera is. And you can see if I do this, it snaps between those points, which is really cool. But uh, as it stands, this system is very uh, flickery, it's a bit dodgy. Uh, I think this is what we're going to be using for our third person rig. And if you see my shadow, it is one to one. So this is the first person um, and third person viewport. So we're looking at what it's going to look like when you're looking at someone else. Uh, and this this game actually does work with multiplayer right now, but I don't have anyone to test with. So, but yeah, here we go. So we've got a gun. It can shoot. It's very loud, but it can shoot and also reload. There's no animations for it, but. What a lovely reload animation, right? 
So this is one of the things, one of the reasons why I want to have a first person rig. I want to have really, really good uh, animations to go with everything. So yeah, using an IK system is a bit more of a headache for me currently. I can't really work out how I'm going to do it. I think we'll just have the third person rig have a really basic animation when reloading and the third person rig have a really advanced animation. Um, and I've already got a couple people working on exactly that, so they're setting up some rigs for us, and they're actually going to do some animating as well, so kind of excited to see that. So, there's a bunch of issues in this level. This was one of the first ones we noticed. I actually, I made this level, and I didn't realize this roof was, uh, was not the right height, but it's perfect for crouching, which is not in the game. So it's a good encourage, good way to encourage a uh, reason to have crouching that little spot. But yeah, as you can see, we can we can run around. There's no sprint or anything, but there is a there is a jump, and and you know we can pick up the guns and we can also drop the guns, uh, like so, which is kind of cool. But then you see my stupid hands. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a nice little nice little tweak, and we've got some. You can see the feet when we're running. Again, this looks so gross, but. Yeah, it's early times, guys. It's early times. You, you'll see more, and it'll get better, I promise. <laughs> These are all the things we definitely want to have looking a lot better. Um, yeah, oof, even those animations are really gross. So, drop the gun. Let's have a look at the other guns. So, that was the Car 98 on the ground there, um, which, yeah, just looking through my arms to see that. And this is the Lee Enfield. It's basically the same gun at the moment. Very loud. And drop that. And we have a uh, Mauser. Now, fun little fact here. This Mauser wouldn't work. We had to go through this really, really weird system where the the name Mauser wouldn't be accepted when we attempted to pick it up. It just wouldn't. We had to change it to Mauser 1. It's a really, really, really weird specific bug. We can't figure it out, but it took an hour to realize we just had to change the name of it. And I, if you want to ask questions about that, um, you're more than welcome to, but I can't, I, I have no idea what the hell was going on with that. There we go, another gun. Probably going to change those sounds because it is identical to the Webley or the Weebles, as I call it. Same. And you can see it's actually shooting a projectile. It's shooting a giant bolt. And it's also dropping casings. And you can see here there's a little casing. So these guns do technically work. They're not just, they're not just show. I mean, that's really loud. They're not just all show. They are actually working. Um, and you you can, you can shoot things. So if I hit this right, I'm going to reload. Pretty sure physics will work on him. No. Oh, it did. Ever so slightly. Not enough rounds. Anyway. So, this is what that level, this is what this level is for. It's just for testing our guns, running around, and a whole bunch of other systems that we have in the game. Let's have a look at another level. So the next one we have is Greybox Dam. Now, this image is already out of date, so let's jump in here and have a look. So as you can see, yeah, this level's a little out of date. We've already got some nice color happening in here, and uh, the rest of it's grey box, but you can see there's a little river and a whole bunch of stuff. Now let's... Let's go through this because uh, it's it's a bit of a big level. Now, again, I haven't really worked on grey boxes in the past. This is one of the first projects I've... I'm going through the process properly. I'm intending to have all the levels be designed um, from, the, from the ground up. So we're going to have the concept art uh, and then go into grey boxing and then work up from the grey boxing and, and onwards. So... This is just a little bit, I, I drew this little picture up and had an idea of what I wanted to do and I've just chucked it in here to see how it would work. Now, this, uh, this shader right here, it's, it's a bit dodgy, you can see there's a, uh, it's got a grid, the grid system's working but it, the lighting's not working very well with it, so this is a custom shader that we have. And hey, look, a gun, I'll just use that so my hands don't look so stupid. Yeah, we can see the the level is nice and grey box. Now this is uh, two point five meters. Every single one of these boxes, so we can we can take screenshots of this and um, and start working on some concept art. So we um, we can start designing things, you know, beyond just grey box. And we can also get a feel of the scale of everything. Now I think this level is way too big, um, but again, it's going to be difficult to tell anything. Uh, without the controllers, without sh being able to shoot one another and, and doing all this kind of stuff. 
Now, I, I think one of the keys to making one of these good levels is one of these games, one of these games that are good is having a lot of playtesting. And you can see, like, we're working on it. We're getting some playtesters running around and testing stuff. And we're testing it ourselves as well. Um, but I think in the meanwhile, we're not going to focus heavily on making heaps of grey boxes just because of the fact that we don't have those controllers working fully and we really do need to be able to tell like is this is this walkway too long am i exposed for too long um you know all those kind of things and how it feels and and the more people that test that they can tell us oh you know this area this area that um, but you know designing all the art and everything for the levels is absolutely doable for us because we can draw up plans and stuff and change the scaling and and sort of give you an idea. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna throw up some concept art here. Uh, you can see what exactly we're looking at. So we start off with a screenshot and then and you know just draw over it and get some ideas. And it's not much really going on in the in the terms of like how much concept art we have currently. Uh, but if you want to see some concept art, you'll see ahead of time over on Discord. Yeah, we've we're fully active over there, and uh, and yeah, you can you can just check us out. So this is the dam. You can see here, it's it's just a dam wall. Uh, there's a bridge, the river, and there's a couple buildings, like factory buildings. Now the concept behind this is that it's going to be sort of like a manufacturing, like a, an experimental facility. Uh, so we might have some like uh, machinery and all that kind of stuff in these buildings, building some or constructing some kind of strange uh, 1920s era <laughs> technology. So let's get to the next level. So the next level is Greybox 1. Now why is it called Greybox 1? It's literally my first Greybox. So I, I slapped this thing together um, on Maya just to sort of get an idea of what we're looking at. Now I'm going to do something real cool here because we've actually got a couple concept art. A um, co couple of concepts for this position around about here. So if I slap up the concepts for here you can see what we might be looking at for some levels in this area. And, you know, once we well, start actually working on the levels, we, just, we can decide which ones we want to go with. The more concepts we have, the more we can run past each other and, and make more decisions. But you can see what that would sort of entail. So we could have, like, you know, ruins here or, like, marketplace there and a whole bunch of different cover. And it really is, like, Grey Box is just, like... It's missing everything that makes a level a level. It's literally just boxes and some light uh, and some ramps and stuff. Um, but we we should be able to test this, right? So before we start throwing real heavy art into it, we should be able to start sh like playing actual games on this, shooting at each other, seeing how it feels, feeling the jump distance and the run distance and making sure everything's all correct. So before we do any art, we're going to be doing concepts for basically every level. Now, next up is Greybox Peak. I'm just going to explain this one because there's not much of a level. There's a couple cubes and that's about it. Now, this probably won't be uh, completed anytime soon. It's a, it's kind of a big project. I want to have this big cannon on the top and while you play, it's firing. So it's, it's actually got like a munitions um, system like it's pulling uh, ammo from the bottom of the mountain all the way up to the top and you play on the inside of this gun and you can like come out like periodically maybe there'll be like capture points on the outside um, but there'll be like a whole internal section on the inside of this now this is very bare bones so I'm not even gonna open it up um, <laughs> yeah but this is a really cool idea I like the idea of like shells being ejected out the back and like you know piling up on the mountain behind um, this is a cool idea that I think it's gonna be more for like a snowy sort of uh, theme, so it's not really going to be what we're starting out with. We're going to be going in the desert to begin with, so yeah. It's an idea, but uh, something I'm going to hold off on to for a while, I think. Now, if anyone's familiar with Halo, Halo 3 in particular, this is a map that should pique your interest. This is not ever going to be available to play. This was me fiddling around, making some grey boxes to see what I could do uh, just from the top of my head. Now, I'm actually going to play it just to show you. Uh, here we go. Like, if you've ever played Halo 3, you might remember the grav lift up here goes all the way up. And we can cross over this bridge. And there's a gravity hammer normally right here. And at the end here, 
this might be a bit dodgy. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a straight road. But anyway, there's a sniper here. And you can go up here, and, you know, there's that tower that goes up here. There's an explosive barrel here. If anyone knows Halo 3, they know this map. And, yeah, I was just fiddling around to see what uh, we could do as in terms of a grey box. And also pay a little bit of homage to Halo 3. So, Guardian, not gonna be playable. Woo! <laughs> oh. So, after Guardian, we have a couple here. Uh, one's a little bit more polished than the other. Um, and by polished, I mean has more crap in it. It's actually not polished at all. It's it's a bit a bit dodgy in my opinion. Now you've already seen Hideout. If you haven't, you can check the last video. We pretty much just spent the entire time in there. Now Inlet is it's kind of my testing, real testing project. Getting all the art assets in here and seeing how far we can push a level. Now I've spent quite a few minutes, quite a few hours in this level. And uh, at the moment, there's a lot of issues with it that I I just I just want to tweak. If I can get this level looking good, I can start applying it to the other levels. So um, there's a grey box of this level. This is not it. This is just a uh, bunch of stones that I've slapped around with the terrain editor. Uh, and as you can see here, what the hell is this? This is actually supposed to be a hole in the wall. And for some reason, during our builds, this hole just doesn't actually work. You can see out, but um, it's not actually culling the hole. So it's quite quite annoying. That's something I'm going to have to solve um, for the future. So if I go in here, there's a little, little feature. Uh, everyone hates it already, but here it is. The, the room gets dark. <laughs> How good is that? I want the cave to be dark, right? But I, I also, like, I want it to affect your vision and stuff. So we're testing some stuff. I, I was testing some stuff to change your, your vision. So when you go out, it gets darker. When you go in, um, oh wait, when you go in, it gets darker. When you go out, it gets brighter. But as you can see, it's really dodgy. Uh, the solution is going to be to bake things properly. But right now, this level, and there's another hole, this level is actually killing... Uh, computers, so it just doesn't run on anything um, below my my specs, which I I can't even I don't even know off the top of my head, but it's it's running hot. We've had a couple friends play this, and they're like, yeah, my my uh, PC sounds very loud, and I can tell you now, there's I think over I think there's nearly 20 million tries, and if you know anything about um, model making. They're all in the rocks, so these were assets that I've used as a bit of a placeholder. But with this many rocks, uh, they're not really optimized for... They don't really have really low LODs, they're quite high all over the place. And there's just so many of them that, yeah, we're just... We're running hot, and yeah, that's... that's The computers just can't take it, so... I'm gonna have to redesign this entire level um, with different rocks in mind. But you can see the aesthetic that I'm going for. So we've got a very tropical look with, um, you know, some green greenery with some rocks around, all that kind of stuff. You can see the tropical trees, lifeless tropical trees that don't um, sway in the wind at all. Uh, you can see, like, you know, we kind of get what's going on here. Now, I, I've noticed my, my running is also very dodgy. He currently just bunny hops downstairs and down ledges and stuff. You can see it starts off very uh, nature bound, so out in the ocean, nice and, and uh, wavy with the trees and stuff. And we come to a, a little bit more of a militaristic styled area. So we got the trenches that I'm working on over here. We got trenches and we got a big bunker wall here with even like little uh, machine gun nests at the top. And we've even got bunkers in here which I can go into. There we go, and you can see the kind of perspective that players would have in here. And if we go out, you can see what the attackers would have in here. So you've got the defenders and the attackers. So if I go up here, there's a whole... This level is pretty pretty big. It's a lot bigger than uh, <laughs> it was meant to be. And all these, these gross-looking things, they're supposed to be... You're not supposed to see them. They're supposed to be holes in the walls. There's a big gun here, and it's supposed to be like shooting out over to the the ocean. I've got a couple vehicles here and stuff, and here's another hole in the wall. So players might have we might have like two attacking sides, or might have a defending and an attacking side. So these guys would be the defenders who have access to the 
bunker. My computer just really lagged out there. Uh, they have access to the bunker and all the networks and all that kind of stuff, so they can use these tunnels. Uh, here's a little, little planning place. They have access to all these tunnels, and they can come out through here. But they've also got a couple of machine gun nests. And I'm planning to have a door here. I really want to have a like a network door that... Oh, well, look at that. That's pretty, that's pretty much a door. So I want to have a door here that's networked, so it can only be opened from the inside. Um, yeah, all blown up from the outside, so that was the idea. And we'll see if we can get there. That'll be pretty nice. You can see over here we have one more space that you can look through right here. So another machine gun nest. Pew, 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 pew. It's got uh, three different windows. This one's a little bit useless. But hey, looks looks pretty cool, right? Nice looking level. I can tell you right now, my computer does not like running this. So one of the first things that I need to focus on is optimizing this stuff for, you know, potato computers. And um, testing it on potato computers. And I don't mean to be, like, offensive by saying potato computers. I really... I, well, they are potato computers, but <laughs> I want them to run on all kinds of computers, from the lower specs to, you know, the higher stuff, and still have it look good. So it's a bit of a challenge, definitely going into territory that I've not really gone before, but it's it's all fun and games, and <laughs> literally fun and games. So hopefully you guys are interested in seeing how that gets optimized. I would assume, I'm just going to say it, I'm going to be working on this pretty much all, all the time. Um, so, by the next devlog, this area should look completely different. Um, and I, I'll start on this video. On the next video, I'll start in this area, and you can see what it looks like, uh, straight up. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's all the levels that we have right now. So, <laughs> let's go back to me, right here. Alright, so, we have a whole bunch of levels, and, uh, yeah, they're working, they're working really well. They, they look good. They look okay, I'm gonna say. The grey boxes are definitely something new. So, coming from concept to grey box, uh, well, actually the other way around, so I, I, I draw a bit of a drawing and have an idea of what I want to do for a level and, and do a couple layouts and, and all this kind of stuff. I've, I've been looking up so many game development or level, level design videos and, and um, documentation on how to make good levels. It's, uh, it's, it's been quite heavy, to be honest, so... Uh, hopefully we have some good levels that you guys enjoy and um, yeah it's it's really all all just a test until <laughs> until someone actually plays tests it and, and tells us whether or not it's any good um, yeah <laughs> if you're excited for this project uh, you're more than welcome to find it over on Steam a link will be in the description below you can wishlist it right now and if you want like advanced knowledge on what exactly is happening Join the Discord. Join it right now. It'll be in the link in the description below as well. So it'll be underneath the um, the Steam link. But yeah, it's I'm I'm super excited about this project. Uh, it's only been a couple weeks since we switched to first-person shooter as a um, as the genre for the game. So there's a lot more to go, and we're we're gonna go there. We're gonna we're gonna show it as it, as we go along. Now I would really love to show more. I, I would actually like to have some live streaming going on. But we want to have live streaming when there's a controller. So we're going to be more live streaming actual gameplay and actual game testing. Um, so we, we aren't actually going to be streaming anything to do with development for a while. Um, at least at least until the game is, is playable. So <laughs> that seems like a, a long stretch. Playable, I mean, by, you know, we can actually shoot at each other and there's some game modes. Nothing too intense, but, you know, working would be nice. Now, uh, yeah, that's that's it for now. I uh, hope you guys are interested in, you know, what I said before. Check it out, and um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, stay awesome. See you later, guys.